Hi, so this will be the third of my eyeshadow declutter. The first one I decluttered mostly um, things that are too old to use and the things that it's not very good, like um, I, the things that I don't like. The second time I decluttered the things that I like, but I don't reach for that much. So for this time, I'm gonna downsizing the product that is similar, that's kind of in the same category. It's like for a mauve eyeshadow palette, I think one or two palette is enough. I don't need like these thousands of palette choices of the same color story, right? So that's the idea today. And I counted the palette I have today. Roughly, it's about 72 or 3, like including these quads or like trios, duos, but do not include the singles. I don't have that many singles anymore because I decluttered uh, quite a bit of them. So yeah, let's just get started. I want to start from this pile, which is... And also, actually, in today, I'm gonna also declutter some of my suku quads. I did not um, declutter my suku quads, it's because I I just... It's one of my favorite eyeshadow formula, because... Uh, so last time, I just feel like I can't declutter them. I haven't made uh, my decision. So this time I finally made my decision. Thank you for all of your comments to encourage me to just declare the things that I do not need. Let's just start it with this pile. The, the intro is too long. Um, the first one is this Blue Moon palette. It's from Colourpop. And this actually I think I do have other palette that has this blue color story. Let me check. I think I have some in the fading in the hue, fade into hue palette also from ColourPop and maybe also some Charlotte Tilbury palette. Not Charlotte Tilbury. Um Natasha Denona palette and I think I also have some in my suku quads. Yeah, not much. I think only this one though. Let's compare all of these blues. I don't use blue that often actually. From these two already I feel like oh you, you can you can see. From these two I feel like there are already quite a bit of similarities. Let me show you. This shade this shade in the corner, it's pretty much very similar to this Take It Easy shade in this Fade Into Hue palette. The Fine China color, you can see the Fine China color, this center one. I think it's pretty close to this iconic color here. And the dark blue is like not something I use a lot, to be honest. And also, this shade, the Billy Jane, I think. I think it's pretty close to this shade. I don't know if you can see this shade. is pretty close to this shade. I don't want to swatch this one because it's in a pretty good condition. Almost completely new. So, yeah, I don't want to touch it. I think you know my um, decision right now. I think these two are pretty similar and I can dupe this color and this color I have something similar as well. And also this one I do not use that much and this one I have like a similar color as well. And also these shimmers I don't really use that much actually. And this color is actually a duochrome. It looks like silver but it has a like baby blue reflective. I think I have something in the Pamagraph palette that's pretty similar to this. Let me see. I will show you later. I can find dupes for the color that I will use in this palette from other palettes in my collection. So I feel like there's no need to keep this one. And also it's barely touched. That one is gonna go. This faded into hue one, it also has some purple in it. 
Let me check. I also have a purple ColourPop palette. I feel like this is pretty similar as well, right? Like this two color, this two center color is pretty similar. And this two darkest shade is very similar as well. And other colors, even though they are like all like purple tone kind of colors, I just feel like it's not something that it's hard to dupe other than this pink. But actually I don't use pink that much. I I I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like pinks, especially this kind of pink, do not work on my olive skin tone very well. So yeah, I think this one might can go as well. I think it's because I have this big rainbow palette. They just put all of the, those palettes into this same big palette. So I just feel like if I have this one, I don't need the other ones that are, you know, in this form. So I think that too can go. And another one is also from ColourPop. It's their black. It's called Blowing Smoke. It's basically their black, silver, gray kind of palette. It's actually very pretty if you look at it. But I just feel like this color, the black, I, I definitely have it. The silver, I definitely have it. And this kind of silvery taupe kind of color, I also have it. And this gray color, I feel like I probably have a similar shade in the uh, Natasha Denona Smoke palette. That palette probably has a lot of dupe shades with the shade in here. Let's let's see. Well, they are not that similar if you put it side to side. But it's like, I feel like this palette, because it has a little bit more of that brown hue to it, it just makes it way more easier to use on my olive warm warm olive skin tone. So yeah, and still, if you choose this kind of cooler toned palette, cooler toned color, you can um, create a more cool toned, kind of this kind of thin looking look. So I think I'm okay with this as well. This palette, it's like they are very appealing to the eye because the whole palette is in the same tone. But it's like the shades in there, some of them is not very, how to say, like hard to do. So yeah, I think I'm okay without this palette. The Star Wars palette, this very cute Yuda one. I'm thinking, should I keep this one? Because the color in this is pretty um, cute and special, but I want to check if I have similar color. I can't get this palette out. I feel like they dupe themselves a lot, so I just want to sure make sure I don't have very similar colors in these. I want to say they are not that similar at all, actually. It's probably just this one row that makes it feels like um, similar. I'm thinking, because green is actually not a color that I will use a lot, and even though it's not exactly the dupe for this palette, but it's in a similar kind of um, color story. I don't know, let's put this in a maybe pile. Maybe we'll find other things that's um, a little bit similar. This is another ColourPop palette. It's the Thai um, High Tie Dye palette. It's a very cute palette, but I just feel like it's also very similar to this 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 row. It's a pretty similar vibe, and I don't use this kind of color too often to keep all of the variations, <laughs> all of the options. So I feel like I can be without that palette as well. So for ColourPop, I will just keep um, 
these two big palette I feel like these two are pretty good to have to like um, still having multiple options but without having too many palettes too many different palettes I just feel like if you have very different a lot of different palettes you just forgot about them so the next one is another ColourPop palette I forgot about this this one is also very tough because this is one of my favorite basically one of my favorite ColourPop palette if you see my last declutter you can see I uh, declutter a lot of ColourPop palette actually let me just put this in the maybe pile right now and as we go we can see if I have other palettes that are similar to this because right now I only can think of the Natasha Denona bronze palette the next one is this <laughs> my single eyeshadow palette uh, these are uh, like makeup big makeup geek makeup forever some ink lot I feel like because these are just neutral colors I don't really wear them anymore and I have the uh, Butopsy palette from Hindash that palette basically covers every neutral matte color needs for me so I just feel like I don't need this one anymore this Pat McGrath palette and I have five other ones sitting in other places because this desk is too small for them I think we're I'm gonna um, assess them a little later because those ones are too big I can't like lay them flat at this point and this is the one I'm talking about the Butopsy palette from Hindash I think this palette just I, if I have this palette I just don't need other neutral matte palettes anymore so yeah I'm gonna keep this the, the uh, formula is my favorite kind of formula it's beautiful and it's very easy to do a sheer look as well if that makes sense and this Bobbi Brown the <laughs> my custom made palette I only have two color in this this is kind of hard because I do love these two color but I just feel like this empty <laughs> with four holes palette just pull me away from using this so maybe maybe this is also maybe a pile I will think about it later so this palette is a palette from Julia's place I think I have a feeling this is very similar to the color in this it's a nude palette it's not that similar actually <laughs> I'm thinking about this palette I, I'm thinking about this shade I think other shades this shade is the shade I will probably rarely use and this shade is probably the only shade that is hard to dupe in this palette but the thing is do I use this kind of shade that often to keep the whole palette for that probably not I feel like yeah I think it's okay to declutter this palette I'm done with the thing that keep a whole palette just for one shade yeah I feel and also I feel like I have tried this palette and this color do not look that special if you blend it on your eye so yeah that's gonna go this Julia's plays the magic mini this one is also hard I feel like the color story I really like because there are a lot of pops of colors and I just love a lot of color in this but at the same time I feel like there are also dupes in my um, collections I feel like like these pinks the gold and also the purple I feel like I can find this shade easily in my collection and also this kind of taupe and these greens I also I think I have in this palette and actually I don't use them that much to you know keep this whole palette like these kind of shades I think it's okay to get rid of this one as well and also on top of that I feel like the shimmer is not my favorite kind of 
um, formula. Next, let's look at my Natasha Denona palette. So in my last declutter, I was saying that um, I'm gonna do a, like a ranking my Natasha Denona palettes or things like that kind of video, and I will declutter this. But I never did that video because I just feel like there are many videos like that. I people do not need another one from me, so I just never do it. Let's just declutter this whole Natasha Denona collection. So the first one. This um, smoke, no, not smoke. I'm keeping. I, I keep calling this a smoke palette. It's the glam palette. I want to. I do want to keep this palette because probably it's probably hard to believe, but I just feel like, even though it's just a neutral palette, it's actually kind of hard to dupe these days. And I almost use every shade other than this shade. I don't use this shade. I, I don't know where to use this shade. It's like too grayish for a highlight, but it's too light for a transition for my skin tone. So it's like the only shade I don't use is this and other shades I all really like and all of these glittery shimmer shades are all so beautiful and you can do so much with this like just neutral looking palette. You can go pink, you can go silver, you can oh, you can go gold, you can go taupe, and you can do silvers and a lot of variations. I, I really like this palette. So I'm gonna keep this. This is actually another of my favorite from Natasha Denona. As you can see, it's pretty messy. And I actually feel like this palette just covers a lot of need of for like this kind of green palettes. Um, actually, you know what? I feel like this is probably a little similar to this. It's a mood palette from ColourPop. What do you think? I feel like they're pretty similar. Like, oh, I just accidentally scratched this shade <laughs> with the ColourPop palette. Okay. Well, this shade is beautiful. <laughs> I'm swatching from the pieces that got um, scratched off. Like, see how beautiful this shade is. <laughs> okay, like, let me press it a little bit. Maybe next time I do my makeup, I, I can use this shade all over my lid. It's so beautiful. I feel like this palette, if you really think about it, is a very similar idea as other than the, the the blues but I also have the blue in this palette this the other Natasha Duno big palette so I feel like probably I do not need this whole palette like these peaches are pretty easy to dupe yeah I probably also do not need this palette as well if I have this big one well I feel like I'm pretty much letting every single one um, color pop palette go. <laughs> so these are all the keep ones. And this Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. This is actually, I'm half and half about this palette. Half of me want to keep it because there are very, um, these kind of very special colors in this palette. And the, on the other hand, I don't want to keep it because other than these two other colors, I all, I have them all in my collection. It's just, it's just these two. <laughs> like I said, I don't want to just keep a whole palette for one or two colors. And also on top of that, I feel like I'm over the face of these kind of very yellow, orange kind of colors right now. So I probably do not use these two colors enough. I feel like last time I used them is probably a couple months ago, these two colors. So I think if it's like that, it's probably okay to not keep it. It's like if these shades are the shades that I use daily, then it's probably worth it to keep the whole palette for this. But now I feel like I just don't have to keep it. And last time, um, some very nice um, girl comment um, commented that I can um, depart the color that I want, which I actually know. But thank you for the su suggestion. It's just, 
I do want to have other person to use this, no matter it's my friend or what. But I just don't want to leave two holes into the palette because that makes the palette look so bad. I want to let the next person to have the whole palette, so that's why I'm not depotting them. So yeah, I'm just gonna let that one go. And this Natasha Denona Love palette. This palette is probably an easier one for me because this palette is very beautiful, it's so beautiful. And I do love it, but every time I try to use this palette, I just feel like I don't know what I'm gonna do about it, which do not make sense. <laughs> like this is a quite cohesive palette. It has different variations, different tones. You would be easily create a complete look with this palette. But for some reason, every time I look at this palette, I just feel like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so yeah, and also I feel that this probably can go to the category of mauve. And I have other mauve palettes and on top on top of that, mauve is not a color that I use a lot for my um, olive skin tone. Mauve is just not my eyeshadow color specifically. Sometimes I can use mauve uh, blushes, but like eyeshadows, a lot, especially a lot of Western brand eyeshadows, the mauve is just not for my probably Asian skin undertone. So the bronze palette. This is the palette I actually want to keep, but let me compare with this whatever palette from, yeah, it's literally called whatever palette from ColourPop. Are they similar? I feel like they are. It's probably just this one have this orange and have this kind of like reddish tone. Other than that, I feel like they are pretty similar. So I feel like it's okay to get rid of this whatever palette and keep the browns palette because I do prefer the Natasha Denona um, formula over the ColourPop one. And this Natasha Denona Pastel palette. This is very special in my collection. So I do want to keep this one because I do not have dupe for them. And I do think like these colors are all great colors to just do like a one and done kind of pastel looks. It's very pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. And the Natasha Denona Biba palette. This palette I have mentioned last time that surprisingly this is not my favorite Natasha Duna palette. It's not the color is not good or the formula, it's just I don't think for how big this palette is it can do a lot for you. I don't know if you can, you can tell, like this four even though they are all different undertones but on your eye they are not that different. And these three are old mid-tone kind of colors um, that you can, like for my light medium skin tone, you can put it on the, like to blend it all over the lid as a base. And actually they do not look that different on the eye. Like also I can mix these two and it just creates this color. It's like the the color in the same row, just some is a little bit pinkier, some is more yellowy. So it's like, it does not look that much different on the eye. And also this one, these two are pretty similar. And this two, shimmer on your eye, they are just a little bit different, not that much difference. And also this bronze, pa this pr bronze shade, I don't use a bronze that's this deep. It's a pretty deep bronze color. Like on the camera, it probably do not look that deep, but in real life, it's like as deep as this shade. So uh, it's like this whole big palette just function as kind of a, a, a quad for me, like a deep um, kind of brown shade, like a mid-tone brown, like a champagne shade and a black. That's the pa this palette is just a quad for me, and 
I do have this beautiful matte palette. I feel like all of these colors, ma mixing them can create all of the mattes in this palette. And these shimmers are not that similar, not, not that special to, to dupe. Like, uh, these champions are the easiest palette, easiest color to dupe, right? So, yeah, for how big this one is, it does not do much. So, I think I, I can let this one go. And the next one is this um, Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This palette is actually pretty new in my collection. As you can see, it looks barely touched. And now I see this palette, I feel like it's a good, it's good to declutter this it's a mood palette because it's like a more richer version of this it's a mood palette. And now I'm seeing this, I feel like I just don't have to keep the it's the mood palette. And it does have a lot of these kind of special shade and the peach colors that I decluttered many palettes. Like this kind of like orangey tones is very similar to the ones in this whatever palette. So I think having this palette can cover a lot of warm neutral needs and all of these special green tones and these bronze colors. But let me compare this a little bit with the Natasha Denona gold palette. Last time I also I also <laughs> I also mentioned for this palette there's only two color is very special in this palette for me is these two. These two are my favorite color in this palette. Basically every time I I use this color I reach for this two. But now I feel like because I have a, a similar duochrome in one of my Pamagraph palette, I think it's the five. It has a a, a color that's similar to this. And I just feel like I don't want to keep this whole palette for this <laughs> this mustard color. And the whole idea is kind of, actually kind of similar to this Metropolis palette. If you cover up this section, I think they're a similar idea, right? So I think it's okay for me to declutter this one, which is shocking. This is one of my favorite Natasha Tinona palette. But yeah, we're here to downsize, not here to be a hoarder. That's gonna go. I'm not keeping as much as I thought, actually. Because I already did a two very big declutter. I didn't think that I would declutter much this time, but I, I did declutter actually more than half at this stage. And this is an empty palette. I feel like they will, they will be helpful for another person. I don't really um, customize my palette anymore. Now I just feel like pulling out a palette that the um, color story I want to use that day is just more convenient because my idea of makeup changes all the time. I sometimes put it into a palette and custom a palette and I just never use it because the next time I want to use it the, my preference has already changed so yeah I feel like this probably is not very helpful for me anymore so I'm just gonna declutter it it's just an empty palette so now let's look at my suku quads this is hard <laughs> let me um, go from the permanent shades this is the number zero 01, so it's the first one. I'm thinking, is this similar to my Divine Rose palette from Pama Black? Because they are both um, this kind of rosy, mauve kind of shades. Yeah, I, I want to say they are pretty similar, right? It's just this shade is probably a little bit warmer, better to use for me. Let me see the one that in this Bobby Brown palette. I think these two, you can see. I think these two mattes are a little bit more similar. Not sure. I'm trying to find, can, can I get a dupe for this shade in my collection? Because this shade is actually one of the mauve shades that I can actually wear. 
and this one is a little bit too cool tone for me. So I'm thinking which one should I get rid of because I don't use mauve that much to keep a lot of mauves. I also have this Excel palette. It's a Japanese drugstore brand. And I feel like some of these just um, is a similar idea to the these kind of shades in the Pamagrath. And I think I also have this kind of gold in other Pamagrath palettes and also this shimmer. I, what I don't have a dupe for this palette is probably this one, this um, pinky golden duochrome color. But at the same time, I do not use cool tone pink with a gold shift that much. It's not a color that's like suit for my skin tone very well. So I think maybe I will declutter this Pat McGrath palette, actually. I refuse to um, <laughs> declutter my Pat McGrath palette because they are so special. But now I really look at it. I feel like sometimes they just duped themselves. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is this is probably a palette from Pat McGrath I do not need to keep. Okay, this is one of my favorite mall palettes, actually. So I'm going to keep this one. And I I want to keep this one here. Um, I want to keep this palette here permanent, uh, temporarily, so that if I find something similar, I can compare. So the next one is their um, number two one. I think this is one of my favorite kind of orange eyeshadow, which. I feel like on the camera it does not look that orange, it just looks like a warm neutral palette. But this shade is such a beautiful, summery, subtle kind of orange color. I I just love this color. It does not look much, but on the eye it's just so cute. Which is what I love from Suku. It just looks like nothing, but on the eyes it looks so cute. I'm gonna keep this one. And the third one, this one, I think I think this is previously one of my favorite palettes when I was still wearing makeup to office. I just feel like this is such a formal looking palette. But now one is like I don't wear makeup outside anymore. Well, not anymore, like not that much anymore. And I basically don't really wear makeup to the office at all. So I feel like Probably I don't need this palette anymore and it's actually it's a little bit special but I think the specialness of this is not the thing that I not the kind of color that I prefer anymore these days so oh my god my first Suku quad declutter <laughs> um, and this, this is the fourth one which is like a rosy kind of palette which is cute. I'm thinking, should I keep this one? I don't use this that much, I have to be honest. But I just want to keep it here for for now. And this one is one of the ones that I love, but do not use that much. I'm thinking, should I keep these? I feel like this is more of a maybe pile. Let me assess it a little bit later. This one is um, is one that I do want to keep because I just feel like it's a little bit more of a um, unique color story that actually makes sense. It's such an elegant kind of cool tone palette that actually works on my um, Asian skin tone. And I, I actually, I just love it. I, there's rarely that a palette that's cool tone like this that will work on my skin tone. So I do want to keep this. And the third one is this one. I think this one this one is a little bit easier for me. If you have seen my review about this, I just feel like this color do not do what it should do. It's like too sheer for a shimmer eyeshadow but it's actually but it also do not have enough sparkle to use as a top coat and this is one of the most unique color in this palette right and if this one do I do not like it 
I, I probably should not keep this whole palette as other colors are not that special. So yeah, this one can go. This one is probably also one of the ones that I can let it go. I feel like this is pretty similar to the colors in this Metropolis palette, right? Like I feel like I can find some similar, 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 <laughs> um, similarities between these two palettes. And I rarely think about this palette actually. The only one that's so beautiful is this color, this taupe color. But I do have this kind of taupe color as a single in other brands. Um, so I think this one can go as well. And now let's assess all of the limited edition palettes. I feel like Suku limited edition palette is just a little bit more difficult as they are very special but also easy to use. And the first one is this one that I actually want to keep is one, the color 101, Halugumo. I do want to keep this one. And I have to say, I do not reach for this that much. It's because I have too much of these um, limited edition palettes. I just feel like if I downsize this a little bit more, I can get more use out of them. And this one is probably one of the ones I, I don't use that much um, as well. I feel like this color story is just not the one that I reach for that much. If I reach for this kind of color story, I probably prefer this kind of like more muted colors. Yeah, so maybe I want to, I can keep this one and declutter this. So this is a keep. Which pile was to keep? Oh, this pile was my keeping pile. <laughs> okay, the next one is the one that I know I'm definitely gonna keep. This is uh, Ama Oto, I think. Yes, and this is this purple is so special. I love it, and this duochrome is also very special. It's like a purple to taupe, and this whole palette just works so great as a whole, and I I just love it. I, I don't want to get rid of it. And this one is another orange palette that I love so much. I hope this one was a was a permanent shade. It as like when you swatch it, it really just looks like an orange that you you can find anywhere. But put it on your eye, it's just so beautiful. And on top of that, this topper. I don't know what's different about the formula in this palette. This topper is the most beautiful topper among all of the Suku quads. I don't know why this is a limited edition. This is the one came with the last one. This is 106. Oh, this is 105. Um, I feel like it's, it's very pretty. It's such a cute palette. But I feel like I can find... I can probably find a lot of um, similar shades, even in this palette. So now I'm thinking which one should I keep. <laughs> these two are very similar to these two. And I can find dupes for this kind of shadow as well. I don't know, it's hard. Let me put this one in the maybe pile. Let me... And this one in the maybe pile as well. We will assess them at the um, ending of this declutter and these two I think I'm gonna keep both of them as they are both this kind of kind of unique um, autumn fall kind of color story especially this one it looks like such a weird color combination but on your eye it's just such a elegant kind of cool toned fall palette because a lot of time I feel like when it comes to fall it's all of these super 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 um, warm toned palette we rarely see a cool toned fall kind of color story which th this one is so I'm gonna keep this too okay the next one I think this is a pre winter pre Christmas or something like that I love these two, but I think this one is just a little bit similar to the uh, last cool-toned fall collection 
quad. So I think it's okay for me to declutter this. And this one, actually this color is pretty, um, how to say, special. So I'm thinking, should I declutter it? Let me just set this here for now. And this is the Christmas um, collection, I think. I feel like this red is a little bit similar to the red that in the color 05. And these shades, I feel like I don't really use this purple that much and these shades are pretty easy to dupe. So I think this one can go as well. And this one, it's hard, but yeah, I think this orange, I can find something that's similar. Um, I think in these two, like these two colors are actually similar. This like glitter kind of shade. Hmm. I don't know. I do want to keep one of these, but I don't know which one to keep. <laughs> it's hard to decide. Let me decide later. This is maybe a pile as well. Suku will be hard for me. I, I already know that. And this is the color 112. I think this is pretty nice. It has three top coats kind of color. Like these three all have glitters. And this is like a nice base shade. So you can, if you want to go, go a little bit, um, if you want to go a little bit cooler tone, you can use this too. And if you want gold, um, gold kind of color, you can go this too. And you want some peach, you can go this too. But I feel like all of these colors I can find in other quads. And actually, this launch is the is the launch that I find Suku started to copy themselves. <laughs> if that makes sense, I feel like just from this launch which is the beginning of this year. They just start to rearrange the color they have in their other quads in the past. They just randomly, not randomly, but they just um, put them into a new palette with the shade they already have in other existing quad of them. So even though this is beautiful, but I just, like I said, I feel like all of these shades I have in other palettes. So I can let this one go as well. And this is the shade 113, and this is the shade 114. I feel like 114, this color is pretty as well, but these two are not that hard to dupe, even in my Suku collection. And I don't think I use um, blue that much to keep a lot of blue palettes. And this one, I think I have a similar color in the Natasha Denona pastel palette. Yeah, I think this pa the I think this color is similar to this color. So I think this palette can go as well. And this one is hard. I want to keep it because it's a color story that I like. But at the same time, I don't know. I feel like all of these colors are very easy to um, find. And now let's assess all of the maybe pile Suku, Suku palettes. So now looking at all of these palettes, for this two, I think I want to keep the more neutral ones. This one, which is the 108. This one, I feel like if I want to do uh, this kind of very smoky look, I probably will not reach for this um orange shade. So I think this one can go. And I can keep this one. Now I really look at it. I feel like if I want to reach for a mauve palette, I probably will reach for this one instead of this one. So this one can go as well. And I'm gonna keep this. And this two, they are not similar. I'm just left with this two. I think for now I want to keep this one and I want to use this one more. I think this just got buried into my huge Suku collection and I just kind of forgot about it. Um, what's hard is this one. Let me see, do I have other similar shades in my collection? 
I feel like I probably decluttered a lot of um, purple shades already. So I think I can keep this one for now. So let me rearrange this a little bit. I'm keeping six um, limited edition ones and five of the permanent shades. And I'm decluttering about 11. Actually, that's way better than I thought. And let's assess this section. Okay, actually I feel like a lot of quads I can go because whenever I want to use a quad, I just immediately go to Suku. Um, but let's, let's see. For these kind of Japanese drugstore ones, I have decluttered them pretty, pretty well. I don't think I don't I don't think I have that much of these like little quads, small palettes that I don't really reach for. But I think this one can go. This is a palette from Kate. It's the brown shade ice. This palette is like there's nothing special about it. So I think I can let it go. The can make palette. I feel like this can make palette is just very similar to this Excel palette I want to keep. So I think I can let this one go as well. Hmm. And this Sedan palette is pretty cute. I want to keep it and use it more actually. I think this one I can let it go. This is also an Excel palette. It's in the shade XR11. When I reach for a mauve, I either go for this one, this one I just showed you, and or I just go for this ColourPop little palette. So I think I can get rid of this one as well. And this is a palette that I made myself from Addiction. I do love this palette. So for now, I think I want to keep it and see if I can use it more. And this is a single eyeshadow from Dior that they do not make anymore. It's pretty hard to use, but it's a pretty um, hard to dupe kind of color. It's like a taupe with a silver reflect. As you can see how much I've used. I do want to keep this one. And this is a Dolce Gabbana palette. That is not that special. Like I can find a lot of this kind of palette, this kind of shades. And like I said, I have the Hindash palette, so I don't have to uh, keep all of these options. This is Charlotte Tilbury, the, the, the Dolce Vita palette. I feel like it's okay to declutter this as, like I said, whenever I want to reach for a palette, a, a quad, I just reach for Suku. And I feel like even though this shade is pretty um, hard to find, I just feel like this palette as a whole is not that special. And I don't want to keep this one just for this glitter. I feel like I have other glitter that's similar to this. So even though that's one of my favorite Shadow Tilbury quad, I think I can let that one, do, that, let that one go. And this um, Pillow Talk palette, I feel like since I um, kept the Suku mauve palette, I think I can let this one go. And also, I find one thing about uh, this Charlotte Tilbury palette is their mask looks so much more warm on your eyes. So it does not look like this kind of nude pink shade. It just looks like a peach kind of eyeshadow. I don't know what it is about their formula. So it looks a little bit more um, hard to find in my collection, but it's actually not. And this cool tone palette, I'm thinking, can I recreate this with the uh, Butopsy palette? I think I can. I think maybe not dupe, but at least similar, right? So yeah, I think I can also let that one go. This mentality of do not keep too many same thing, like things in the same category is helping a lot for me to declutter more things that I don't need. This last one is the copper charge. 
I feel like even though this is such a beautiful palette, but I don't know if I want to keep it. Let's see. I feel like it's a dupe for this Natasha Jean. Not dupe, but similar color story for this bronze palette. And I don't know which one do I want to keep. I think I want to keep the Natasha Jean bronze palette because that one just have more bronze option so that if whenever I want a true bronze, warm bronze palette, I can just go for that palette. So the next one is the Dior Cashmere, Soft Cashmere uh, Quint that everybody love and I actually like it as well because there is um, the taupe in this palette is so special and I think I probably declutter a lot of taupe palettes so I want to keep one option. And the next one is from Surat. This is the one that I made myself. I do really like to mix these three as I um as highlight. It looks very beautiful and this can use as a like one over the lid kind of shadow. So I want to keep that. And the next is a quad from Rowan. I do like this palette but I don't think I use this one enough to keep it. I think these glitters I probably have similar shades um from my other like eyeshadow topper kind of collection and on top of that it's actually these do not look that much different on my eye all of these four shades so I think I can declutter this one and the last one will be my um, Tom Ford I think this is Body Heat or oh, is Suspicion the Suspicion Quad I feel like this is a pretty um, special formula still so I do want to keep this one it's very pretty as like an eyeshadow topper for the like kind of wet look so I'm gonna keep that these two are small just empty palette there's no eyeshadow in here I want to keep this too maybe one day I will um, declutter my uh, not declutter departing my single like eyeshadow topper so that one will be coming handy so for these sticks ones I don't think there's much I want to declutter but let me see these ones are the liquid ones and the rest of them are Six, three um, by Terry one I do want to keep they look so pretty on the eye and they are very budge proof this shade the frozen quartz it's so pretty you can't tell from camera but it's so pretty and this is a bronze moon I use this one a lot as well and another one is misty rock I feel like all of these three shades, they are all so pretty for the one and done eyeshadow look. I like all of them, so I'm not gonna declutter them. And this one from Burberry, it's um, the shade Pale Copper. It's not pale, but it's a copper shade, and it is very pretty. I do sometimes reach for this one. And this is a uh, Laura Mercier Cocoa. Probably this one I can let it go because it's too dark to use as a like all over the lid kind of eyeshadow. And I do have this one is Tuxedo also from um, Laura Mercier. Like this one is way deeper and it's matte. I just feel like this one is probably easier to use. And these two are both from Nude Sticks. One is Terra and one is Chocolate. I do want to keep this Terra one as I don't have this kind of matte um, cream eyeshadow in this kind of color to use as base. And this Chocolate one. Yeah, I think it's nice to have as well to add a little bit depth and these 
from Shu Wimmer. Let me check. Hmm, I think this is not a shade that I use a lot, and I feel like I have similar shades in the Natasha Denona Glam palette, even though that's a powder, but let me see how this blends out. Yeah, I think it's pretty similar to that, the shade in Natasha Denona palette. And this one, this one is not that different as well, so I think these two can go. And this Dior one, I think it's a little bit too... Oh, you can see. This, I think this is a little bit too deep for me to use. So this one can go as well. I think this is a limited edition. It's the shade Graffite. <laughs> or Graphite. I, I can't pronounce that name. And this is one from Suku. Let me... I mean, it's pretty. But I just don't feel like it's that special. Well, I think I can... I want to use this more to decide if I want to declutter this one or not. As I feel like I don't have this kind of burgundy kind of brown shade. Okay, and these three are all... Oh, no. This one is from Laura Mercier and these two are from Bobbi Brown. This Laura Mercier one is in the shade Rose Gold. Um, I think I can let this one go, you can see. Like, it's a very not special kind of champagne gold. These two little ones from Bobbi Brown. I mean, they're pretty, but are they that, s that special? Let me blend. Well, I do want to keep the matte one. So I'm, I'm gonna let this little pink glitter one go. Okay. And these two. One is from Laura Mercier. I don't even know if they um, make this one anymore. It's the metallic creme eye color in the shade Aloy. I think it's just a silvery taupe that I can dupe this with other powder eyeshadow. So I think this one can go as well. This is uh, Can Make Wink Glow Eyes. Also cream. This one is actually very pretty. I don't think they do this formula anymore, so I do want to keep this one. And let's see these singles. So this Natasha Denona Topper, the crystal top coat in the shade Grey Brown. This formula is so weird, it's hard as rock. But for some reason you still can pick it up. But I do not use this topper that much, so I think I can let this shade go. And another shade I have is the shade Peach. I think I want to keep this one as I think I use this color a little bit more. Yes, I think I can keep this one. And this is one from the um, brand Decorte. As you can see, I already heat the pan. It's a beautiful bronze shade with glitter. I actually, I want to finish this instead of decluttering this. And this shade, the Tom Ford Platinum, one of my favorite cream eyeshadow and one of my favorite taupe color. I'm not gonna declare this. This is so pretty. The Charlotte Tilbury Oyster Pearl. I feel like this is probably the same shade as the Tom Ford Platinum. Like, they are basically the same, right? So even though I do love this one, but I think I can let this one go as they are, they are basically the same. And that one is pretty new. I think someone else can enjoy it. And this is the shade Bat, also from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I can keep this one. This one is a little different. Yeah, I think it's a little bit yellowy than these Topes. It's like a true bronze shade. This is a actually glitter topper from Chanel. It's like a silver kind of topper. 
I really, I really like it. You can't see much on the camera, but in real life, it's so beautiful. And this Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eye Color in the shade Abyssinian. I can't pronounce that really, really well, but I feel like I don't really use this kind of shade, like this kind of matte shade in a cream form. So I think this one actually can go. Because every time I want to reach for that kind of color, I always reach for um, powders. And this is the shade uh, Sphinx from also Tom Ford. This is a pretty, um, how to say, special kind of duochrome color, which I do love from this formula. I'm gonna keep this. And this one, the Naked Browns color also from Tom Ford. I really love this one. I'm not gonna swatch it because I ran out of space, but I do love this as, I don't know if you can tell, it has a big dent into the cream and it also have a dent in this topper. I do love this. But this one, I think this naked, not naked, golden peach one can go because I feel like I don't really reach for this one that much. I feel like this is a similar color story to the quad I kept from Suku, the number 04. It's this kind of like peachy, um, pinky kind of color. I think if I keep that one, I can let this one go. We also have two maybe pile to assess. I feel like for now, I want to keep this Bobbi Brown palette just in case I have other shade that I, I also want to keep in this palette. But I do want to declutter this Yuda palette. It's so cute, but I do not use it enough. Whenever I reach for green palette, I think I reach for other palette more than this one. So I think this one can go as well. Oh, I forgot about my pomegranate palette. You already know I declared the Divine Rose 1 palette. This one, I'm not sure which one this is. There's no name in here. I think this is probably the first or the second. And I do really love this. I feel like they made a lot of quads and new palettes and within the like variations of this palette. Like this duochrome purple uh, blue shade, they have included this this color in a lot of their quads. So I think if you have this palette, you do not have to um, buy a lot of their quads that include this kind of color. And this one do have this gold which I like, and also this kind of rosy gold shade. And this kind of black and black glitter just can dupe the um, color pop, like blowing smoke, the black palette. So I think this palette is very nice to have. I do um, enjoy this palette. And this one, I think this is the second or the third. I'm not sure. And I do love this palette as well. And I also, I feel like this part is also very similar to the Divine Rose 1 palette that I decluttered. Let me show you. Like, right? This, I don't know if you can, if you can tell. Like, this six shade and this six shade, like from here to here. I feel like they are a similar kind of color story. So, I, I think it's okay to for me to declare the Divine Rose. I just feel like the first couple launch of this um, Pomegranate Big Palette, they are all so special. But since from the Divine Rose, they just go more of the safer side. And yeah. And this one, I do want to keep this one as, I do like this color story. And I feel like a lot of their later um, launches, like I said, just duping their first launch. And this is one of the first launch as well, which I do love this one. And this glitter topper, 
it's so beautiful. I think it's their like bliss astral shade. How beautiful is that? I'm keeping these three. These three are kit. And this is the number five, I think. Yes, I do like this one as well, as it's actually pretty special. Like, a lot of these shades I do enjoy and I do not have in other palettes anymore. Like, this shade is the shade I talk about that's a dupe in the... my favorite shade in the uh, Natasha Dina Gold palette. And this one is even more pretty. Like, you can't really see the right tone on the camera, but it is... It is pretty, so I'm gonna keep this one as well. And let's see the Divine Rose 2 palette. I feel like this palette, as much as I love it, I feel like this gold, like bronze shade, I have in other palettes, and this kind of hot pink, I don't really use that much anymore. And these shades, these mauve shades, I feel like they include this kind of mauve shade in too many of their palettes. Like the one that I just showed and the Divine Rose one and the one that I declutter in the last in the last round of declutter, the Hutopian palette. They're also um, including this one. So I just feel like I probably do not need this palette. Like I said, I just feel like they start to dupe themselves since this um, Divine Rose launch. I way prefer their um, first five, I believe, or first six, because there's one I didn't purchase, the one that do not have the um, Bliss Astro's special shade. And I think this the one that called Midnight Sun, maybe. I think this is the six. Probably, yeah. I think I think this is the sixth one, and I do love this one. And these two are, I think these two can dupe two of the shades in the Divine Rose palette. And this bronze shade is just so beautiful, and I do love this purple. I basically almost use every shade other than this um, khaki shade in this palette. I just feel like, for some reason, this khaki shade do not really fit in the um, like theme of this palette, so I rarely think of using this. But I do love every shade from this palette. So yeah, I am gonna keep this palette as well. So I do declutter two Pamagraph big palettes. It's the two Divine Rose one. So I think we are done with our eyeshadow declutter and I think we're gonna do lips. Yes, I think we're gonna do lips the um, next week. Oh, let me assess how many I have decluttered. I haven't told you. I'm decluttering 37 palettes. That is about half because I think I had 72 or 3. So. That is just about half, and I think I also declutter about half of my cream and stick ones, which I declared 11. So yeah, it's pretty successful as well, and I'm happy with my results. Thank you for watching. I will do a lip um, declutter the next week. Stay tuned. Bye.